Oh my god. <laughs> Who's in the kitchen with the pots and pans? Making a mess, it's dad, he's the man. Can he cook? But he's gonna try. He's learning how it's dad dinner night. Dad dinner! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Look at that. Welcome to Dad Dinner, my mom's favorite cooking show. Hi, mom. Where I learn how to cook a meal, uh, and from a fellow dad buddy. Hey. And today we got Pete Wentz again because we originally shot it and it was so good that we're like, this is it's too much. We we can't do Put it. Put it in the vault, baby. That's right. Put we'll, it in the vault. We'll they show it later. They can't see it. But this actually, is like our Webby episode. Your Webby episode. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so you much. Know, I'll be taking the fingers award. crossed on this one. The sound was so bad. Cut to. What are we doing? Open up Postmates. <laughs> <laughs> See how bad it was? Okay, so... Uh, that was bad. That was very bad, yeah. So we're back. That and thank stinky. you so much for coming back. The budget has gone up here. We've got two ring lights, two big lights, new mics. It's all the sponsorship. Um, okay, Pete, thank you again for coming back. Thanks for having me back. Um, you just haven't left since we shot. Okay, all right. What are we going to be cooking today? I think what we're gonna do is breakfast for, for dinner, which is, I think, a great dad the meal to cook. You know what I mean? It's this is one that I've actually done before, so I'm very excited to see your kind of take on it. Um, As a guy in a band, I know that they just, like when you play the hits, like people are psyched. Okay. Breakfast for dinner is like the hits. Okay, this is the hit, first time. Only, you know this is I mean? the first time I'm, I'm realizing that you're actually in a band because I met you yeah, yeah, yeah. on a television program. Yeah, yeah, I'm in, this, I'm in a band. This is so cool. Okay, let me get you an apron. Now we're oh, excellent. ready. Oops, sorry, on the, oh. on the top knot. Sorry about that. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> look at this. So I usually do uh, pancakes, uh, maybe some eggs. Okay. I noticed you have the healthy the healthy pancakes. Well, these are, is, these, are the, these are the best uh, power pancakes you can get Kodiak. You won't have to buy another one of these for a year. That's right. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. This box is so gigantic. Bad. We'll get All through right. it. So uh, what do we need to do here? We start see, with yeah. looking at the directions. Usually doing the like. Okay, we're gonna go the complete the complete pancakes where they're like just add a drop of water. It's and the you same. Still <laughs> it up. <laughs> totally. Uh, okay, what is it? Okay, one cup um, of the mix and one cup. We're gonna do milk. We're making flapjacks today, yeah, baby. Man. I wasn't sure, but we are. Uh, now, where did the term flapjack come from, Pete? The origin, the origin of yeah. flapjacks yeah. was uh, there was the settlers that had moved into the high mount. Uh, I'll get the milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Did you? Did your dad? Was he the one cooking in the house, or was it mom, or was it the kids? I don't my know. mom mostly cooked, but then my dad would do like pancakes and like spaghetti that felt like it came out of a can. But maybe I don't know. Like, does that spaghetti happen? Spaghetti from a can. Like Mrs. Wag Spags is what he would call it, and I'm like, that sounds like it comes from a can. Ah, oh, that's the right one. Okay, do we want it on high, medium? I think we go medium to low. Medium to low. Love My it. dad, when he was cooking, he would always call the first couple of pancakes the dog pancakes. The, oh, because you can give them to the dog if they're trash. Which is like, you're probably not supposed to be giving dogs pancakes. Like well, uncooked pancakes. You know, right? you know Hamill, you know. Um, okay, so you are... Pete, Pete Wentz. Wentz. Okay. <laughs> From the band. From the show you were over. Okay. <laughs> Friends with Benefits. That's where we met. That is where we met. NBC. Dot com or whatever, however you watch NBC now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peacock, Friends with Benefits. Right? Peacock, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but we met, we had kids the same age. They looked exactly the same. Bronx and Crosby yes. looked yes. so similar, especially from the back. Yes. Um, their hair identical. Yes. Let's throw a picture up. Did we get it? Nice. Good Adorable. Word. And we became buds and then and, uh, kind of raised our kids. Yes. You know, at the same time. Yes. And we've both had more kids since. We've had more children. <laughs> and that's for that. We love having more kids. children, more pancakes. Okay, so you're going on tour soon, like yes. tomorrow. Yes. Or we just went on tour. I don't know when this is airing. <laughs> How was tour? tour was great, <laughs> man. It was it was good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, one couple. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, Let's okay. just do it. Okay, we did that. All right. And then we're gonna throw an egg. Usually in there. I like to fold it in. Oh, crap. Yeah, I, mean, I should have folded. So this feels a little thin to me. Okay, let's see. Personally. Let's throw some more mix in. Don't you think? Does it feel, does it look thin to you? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks thin. It looks a little thin, right? Feel it. Let me, let me see. Yeah, that's thin. That that's thin. thin. All right. Yep. Okay, throw some more in there. Okay, what is dinner like 
on on tour? Like, is it sure. catered every time? Is it like? Do you want to know one of? Oh, roast beef. Roast beef. <laughs> That's the fanciest thing I can this think is... of. Roast beef. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Steak. Roast beef. Roast beef. <laughs> Just so much roast beef. Roast beef. <laughs> like a hot lamp and the guy's sweaty and the roast beef, the roast beef is sweaty uh, and with a big hat on it. Uh, juice, like, and they're just more, roast beef. Right? More Mr. Wentz, more roast beef. So no not, roast beef. Not looking me in the eye, just like. <laughs> well, that's a given. I, I mean, on tour, come on, no one looks him in the eye. My recurring nightmare is we're on tour. I'm at catering somehow on stage. And um, oh, this is your nightmare. Yeah, yeah. And I'm eating like spaghetti. Yeah. And the band's playing, and I can't stop eating spaghetti. And I'm like, stop! And I keep eating spaghetti while the show's happening. What? Yeah. I and, don't know. and and it's is it stressful because your bass guitar with the flamethrower, and you're just like, oh, I gotta like do the flamethrower. I thing. think it's like more like I can't stop. And there's like so <laughs> much spaghetti so... going in. <laughs> what does it mean? If you know what that means, please comment and like and subscribe. So what what are you having on tour? What, what's the dinner vibe? Are you are we getting fast food? No, no, no. We're doing catering and it's just like super basic. Anytime we ever have anybody come back, they're always like, so this is it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. When we so yeah, yeah. so you have ruined my life in many ways. Oh, great. Can I tell you? <laughs> Number one. You f the episode up. You f the episode. Episode up and said all that. Shit. My sound fucking, was perfect. We had to say the fucking mics weren't working because you <laughs> it up. <laughs> it broke. Okay, so we don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going well. No, because like my daughters, all of their first concerts have been Fall Out Boy. Yeah. And we get to go backstage and sometimes like on stage and peek on all yeah. that stuff, and it's the coolest experience. But they think that's what's what going to a concert is? Yeah. Not it. We're nosebleed. Like in real life, IRL. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it sucks. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> and then also birthday parties. You've ruined those for us. That as was well. the best, like best birthday party I've ever been at. That well, right. my gosh, are you kidding me? That was incredible. My for those of you who don't know, my eleven year old I think it was her sixth birthday. Yeah, that sounds I don't right. know. Sixth or seventh birthday. She's like, I want a follow up boy birthday party because I think she had just gone to the concert too. Yeah, yeah. I, we didn't have any, I don't know. So we told you, like, hey, just so you know, we're having a Fall Out Boy birthday party when you guys come. You're like, well, we'll play. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And you're like, we'll bring shirts. And you made shirts for Yeah, everybody? that was. Oh, dude, it was, she was so. That really actually made my day. Oh, that was dude, awesome. That made, like, again, you ruined uh, birthday parties because now every other birthday party is like, is Fall Out Boy playing? And we're like, <laughs> not good. It was insane. It was so cool. That's awesome. Uh, uh, I think we need to Spray or butter Spray, or, butter. I don't know, what do you do? What do you? Okay, this is what I do. Avocado spray. I always like think about like when I'm making, uh, oh, when I'm making a um, mm. non-savory, like will you taste avocado? Like I have a big issue with my kitchen. Oh God. In our kitchen. Where. Like our kitchen? Yeah, yeah, our kitchen. Oh, sure, sure. Where like, if it was growing up, like my my mom would have like the bananas and the onions in the same thing. And I'm like, I don't want the onion oh, bananas. Oh, sure, sure. Like you can little, have them touch. No. I, was, I was like that eating growing up. I had everything, like having no, nothing back, could touch. Know? And then now it's just like pile it on, eat it. I love it. What do we think? Let's get a little water. And you're right. Avocado oil, that might be weird. Nah, I don't think, I feel like. We're going to find out. I feel like Amy knows what she's doing. So. Yeah, well. Oh, that seems good to go, baby. Cool. Yeah. I like that technique. Are Maybe. Oh! I think it might be like a little thin still. Still, what the heck? But I don't know. But maybe this is actually how the the Kodiak flapjack boys are supposed to be. That's how. Okay, let me see mine. I'm gonna try to go. Oh gosh. Okay, and then I'm gonna really try to do. You actually have some famous pancakes. I do. I think so. Handsome pancakes. I think there's like reindeer pancakes. Are oh no, um, French toast. Oh. They're world famous. I was wrong. That's what I tell my kids. I was wrong. Because it's the one thing I kind of cook at Christmas. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. No, so no, I'm, no. I'm getting better, but that's supposed to be Mickey Mouse. That's pretty good. Mm. Do we, and I feel like as long as it's Steamboat Mickey, we're good. We yeah, that's like definitely that Steamboat Mickey. Okay, let's get this guy out there. Oh, oh, I know. What's tour like pre kids and Po not post kids. Yeah. Yeah. Post yeah, kids. Yeah, post, yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, post Malone's kids. <laughs> I would say 
free kids, if you're just somewhere and nothing's happening or there's nothing to do, it's kind of like, uh, whatever, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. And yeah. I think we go out and we find things to do with the kids. So they're not just sitting around. Yeah. They're also like pretty uninterested in the like show itself. You know what I mean? Well, is it because they've been so many times? Maybe, but also it's like they're not they're, impressed by Rockstar da- Dad. Their dad, I think it's oh, uninteresting. Come on. Yeah, it's uninteresting. All right, I'm flipping. Okay. Oh, that's so a that gorgeous cake, good, right? Oh my gosh, I'm flipping. Yeah, flip that. Perfect. I think we might be a little high on the burners, but we're fine. You know, let's turn turn those babies down. Oh boy, that's yeah. I that's, like that. Well, it's not enough chocolate. Ch- it's a little more dead mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, my bad. Um, okay, so when you're not on tour, you're yeah. back at home. Yes. What's dinner like? Is is Megan? Shout out to Megan, his lady, lovely. We love you, Megan. You're beautiful and cool and the best. And yeah. she doesn't watch YouTube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she does the majority of the cooking. Okay. She's a much better cook than I am. Sure. And she kind of like <clears throat> is very good at figuring out something that everyone will. Like that you can just add or subtract and everybody will like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we try to do minimized devices at dinner. That doesn't always work. Sure. I mean, sometimes you got to just like, you know, just We're survive. Yeah, 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 yeah. With my kids being like, my littlest Marvel being like, what was your iPad like? And I'm like, exactly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably definitely a generational thing where like a little bit like, you know, I think when I was growing up, it was kind of like, this is what we have to offer. Yeah, totally. But like, I feel like with uh, how me and my parents and some of my friends' parents, like, there's a little more like, like you throw the towel over and you're like, and tonight we have free. <laughs> totally. You know I mean? <laughs> Roast <laughs> me. <laughs> and, oh my god, that's so yeah. You know what I mean? True. So your kids don't think you're cool, even though you're one of the biggest rock stars um, in the world. Damn, yo. Cool. Yeah, you know. And so uh, hard to believe they don't think you're cool. But so like, what do you, what would you say? Like, what do your kids like about you? <laughs> no, no. Um, I don't know. What's like one of your biggest dad strengths? To me, I'm always down to kind of like. Clown? It, yeah. And down to like chop it up. Like, I mean, like if you're like, like whatever my kids get into, I'm down to go out and try it. And I'm like, like the other day we were skiing and St. Um, my middle guy was like, I'm doing this black, black diamond. And uh, I was like, oh God, this is like. Dude, he can do black diamonds? He, he oh. did a couple, yeah. And I, and I was like, I guess I'm doing it. And he was like, and then we're taking these trees all the way down. And I'm like, oh my God, I just wanted to like, do like <laughs> a lazy green, yeah. like not really pay attention vibes. But we did black. Because I, I, I think to me, like getting into it, like just getting down on that level is, yeah, that's that, so important. You know what I mean? I totally. Like, yeah, okay, this sounds kind of dumb, but I uh, But I don't even know if it's really a strength. It's just more like that a, totally being, is. being a like being a person who probably didn't ever really grow up. Yeah. <laughs> easy yeah. to like Peter Pan. You know what I mean? It's yeah, easy I, to I kind little, of like I got a little bit of like, that. oh I can jump down on your level because I never really left that level. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> should we get the eggs going? Yes, I think we should. Okay, what's your vibe with the eggs? What do we need? One of my vibes also is like when I see something, you know, like when I see someone who's like Poaching an egg is easy. Any idiot can do it. I'm like, I'm making a poached egg tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Turns out any idiot can't make a lot of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I'm one of them. <laughs> What's your dad's ahead. strength? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you on the Peter Pan thingy. Um, being able to get on their level and um, I kind of just down for let, let's go. You want to go do that? Let's go. Totally. I think that's one of mine. Uh, this just in, uh, we got Amy Hansen in here and she says no avocado spray for the pancakes, but we did it. So who cares? That is a lot of what it's like to be in the kitchen as a dad. Yeah. Yeah. Just it, getting told. It, it is what it is. You did it wrong, <laughs> but you're trying. <laughs> okay, let's make some eggs, baby. Cool. We'll turn that one you're off. like, anything will be better than the last one we filmed. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> It was the sound. Oh, it's the lost one. It's the lost episode. You guys are really missing out on how crazy that one was. You're a bad little. You're a bad little. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you're naughty. Um, 
So I so I've been to a bunch of concerts. Here, you do that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, this egg is massive. It's like an ostrich egg. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yes. What a guy. <laughs> this is so cool. Um I you, I got to go on stage yes. like before you guys got out there and you had these characters from yes. some music videos. Yes. And they were, were the best person that ever did that, I think. Did you get that? I was the best person that ever did that. Mascot. For anyone who's talking about male cheerleaders or whatever. Who's talking crap? This guy used that. I used my use that skill set. <laughs> That's right. You know what I mean? I, I really tried. And this was when it, this thing, mm -hmm. and flossing. I did that flossing. thing in the cost yeah, 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 flossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did some of this. People were like, dude, am I playing Fortnite right now? <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna say, I was so nervous. And I'm in no one knows it's me. No one cares. Yeah. But like I care. There's so many, there's tw like 20,000 people. Cannon or no? I think yeah, I did. Yeah, I think yeah, I got to blast did. that sucker. It was yeah. awesome. But I was so nervous. And you know what? I was like hidden. How, um, so what, how many do you ever get over? Are you nervous when you go out there ever? Do you have like, or is it just like excited energy? Right or, before we get out, I'm like, I think there's going to be like no one into it. And then once we get out, it's. I it's like one mind. of the most fun concerts we've ever been to. That's it's awesome. insane. It's so fun. That's awesome. uh, so check them out. They're called Fallout Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Did I say it right? Fall Out Boy? That sounded great, man. Okay. Yeah. Raising teenagers. That's what we're doing. Yes. Eventually yeah. you get to that, right? It, and and Bronx is what grade? He is a freshman. So he's in high school. Mine's in eighth. Uh, it's different. Yeah. Um, it's just a different kind of hang. It's it great. Is. We can talk about different things. Music is cooler now. Like she brings me music. I'm like, oh, dude, you like this? this totally. Is cool. So rad. When you're raising little kids it's like it's like all the issues are like black and white like it's like that's wrong this is right this yeah is, you know yeah, and then yeah, like yeah. when you get into like the grayscale and emotional parenting it's like i'm like sometimes my brain feels like broken while i'm trying to navigate things or um i think like more than that like it's a new era right so like when we're talking we're talking about you're talking about social media you're talking about um you know what i mean like it's just it's completely different than how my the things that my parents did parenting, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Do you want yeah. to try one, throw one on? Yeah, yeah. We are from, you know, like you're supposed to just evolve from your parents, right? You're supposed to, like, that's the, the deal with us as a species, right? So, like, yeah. you're supposed to evolve beyond. And so, like, I think dads are more, it's cool to be more present. It's cool to talk about things more, talk about your feelings. It's cool for like to have your dad have like emotions and yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah. and this is like we're not that far away from generations where it, that wasn't the vibe. It's so true. <clears throat> it's wild. I mean, like if we're watching like a sad movie and I'll like tear up a little bit, my kids are always just like staring at me like, oh my god. So what is that? Like Toy Story Three? It's heartbreaking. <laughs> oh my gosh. What happened to my egg here? It's special. Yeah. Most of my cooking is. I mean, to I think do you, that. Can, you can almost flip this guy. Okay, let's see here. What do you think the bottom looks like? Oh, you're going like a real flip. Oh, you mean like? No, no, no. I think you should, but you might I have to. I think you might have to. No, I don't think it's gonna flip. No, I mean, you got to do what you were gonna do. So <laughs> this is not flipping. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta really. You gotta really. <laughs> I am like really. <laughs> I think it's too. I think Keep it's stuck too much. And you just go. <laughs> this is great, man. <laughs> this, this is this is cool. This is, this is awful. not great. I think if we. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> <laughs> how, so how do you get down with Bronx? How do you guys bond? Like, what's your thing? Is it like... Like, so this year we went, he wanted to go to Camp Flogna. So we went to Camp Flogna and I would never go to... What is Camp Flogna? So that's Tyler the Creator's Festival at Dodger Stadium. And I probably wouldn't ever go to something like that. But Dude. then he, he wanted to go and I experienced it through like him and his friends. And it was like very cool. And like, I'm watching all this music that I probably wouldn't watch. And so like, it was, it honestly... Um, kind of was like opening for me as well. You know, and that wasn't part of the plan. Like when that I'm talking is... to my therapist, they're not like, it's gonna, it's gonna help you too. It wasn't like that. It was like, you're just a ride. But like when I was there, I was like, this is awesome. What is um, something that surprised you about raising the kids in each phase? The thing I think that surprised me the most is that I remember going to my parents and I'd be like, you're like an oracle, right? And you're like, tell me this. And your parents are like, this is the answer my child for yeah. your, you the age you are yeah and i didn't really realize that they didn't know it all so like now Dude. like when they come and ask an answer and i'm like i 
think, that, but like, it's like, it's like just. But are you, you honest with them? Like, I yes, don't really asked, know, but this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, this is how it was when, when I did it. And like, this was what I was happy with. And this is what I wish was different or whatever. Like, and so I think I'm trying to not equivocate so much. That's like what part of my journey as a person. But in general, I think that like explaining that, like that it doesn't need to be like so black and white is yeah. is important. This is so flippable. Oh, no, Do you, you want to flip? Yeah. Oh no, you you flip. You no, flip. I don't really flip, so you should flip. I'm gonna flip. Yeah. I just really want to flip. It's you flippable. I mean? Like this is really flippable. Pretty good flip, man. It's like a quarter flip. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I actually didn't flip the yoke. Flipping again. <laughs> <laughs> now I just just the yoke. Kind of cool. Okay, flip so. again is kind of like uh, clear everywhere. It's like you're yeah. at a gun range and they're uh, like, got to go again. <laughs> the, the fun parts are so much more fun. The hard parts are so much harder. When than they're older, you mean? In general, oh, I just think. in general, yeah. The whole thing is like, like I remember someone had told me, and I think we were already pregnant, and someone was like, do everything you ever wanted to do before you, and I was like, well, I mean, it's a little, you know, play, but, but, <laughs> but like, I, I did. Think, you know, like you can't, no one can ever explain to you like what, like the connection and how much you'll love someone or whatever. But like also the hard parts are so much harder than you could ever anticipate. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Hey, you want some of this ham? What are you, what are you gonna, what are you gonna taste? You wanna give him a, one of those pancakes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, give him the dog cake. What is it called, dog cake? Oh boy. Oh yeah. He like really went for that. You want a dog egg? Does he? Wait, How does he take them? I don't know. How do you take your eggs? <laughs> oh, he's so excited about it. This pig. Oh, God. <laughs> he got me! He is so gross. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, scram. And I, you want to know one of the things that I really always want to show my kids is like, I think sometimes when you, you're you a successful actor, you're... you're a... <laughs> that was such a good look. Give me a shout out to myself. <laughs> uh, like, I think that there's a danger because your kids don't see you screwing up and all the journey of getting yeah. there and whatever. And like, they're like, I mean, like if I was watching as a kid, I'd be like, it seems easy. Like they've just, like they play in arenas. They, they're just on TV shows. They're just in, like they don't. And, and I think there's a part of it is like showing the journey that it's hard. That like, even if you're good at it or you love the thing, like it's still hard to do. So you're saying we screwed up our kids by having friends that are successful and also being successful. No, I'm saying that like oh. a couple of screwed up eggs is part of the journey. Oh, I love it. This is a teaching <laughs> moment. Exactly, I love it. Exactly, exactly. Guys. It'll also be good if we could make like one good one. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, see, and then. <laughs> hey, should we try this stuff or what? Yeah, it looks delicious. It does. It re no, it really, well, that doesn't, <laughs> but these look great. Let's get some forks out of there. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going in on a silver dollar. Wait, you know what oh, goes sorry. great with breakfast for dinner? What? A glass of wine. Perfect. Reunion wine. What should I say about it? No, I don't even like wine. <laughs> Use it. Uh, uh. I like love California wines, honestly. Well, if you love California wines, you're gonna love Reunion and Company wine made in Santa Barbara. This is a 2019 Sarha. And my buddy makes it and it's really good. Okay, let's drink it. Cheers. That's really good. That's really good. Or do you like it? I do like it. It's got a little bit of a spicy vibe to it, which I think Syrahs have sometimes. Reunion and company wine. I know nothing about wine, but I like this. Yeah, it's great. Hmm. Okay, let's try what we did. Oh, did you already try it? How is it? Not great? It's good. It's good. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be brave. Okay. They taste fine. Dog eggs are great. They taste fine. You know what I mean? That's, the, that's what great. it is. That's the other thing. That's the other message right here. They taste fine. You know what? <laughs> it's fine. Oh my gosh! No matter the look. Oh, that's a good. That's a good um, uh, message to your kids. Totally. You can look like. Um. You don't have to feel like. That's right. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, buddy. Thank you so much for doing this. Thanks for having me again. Yeah. Just so you guys know, they're not going to probably cut to it, but my eggs looked good the first time. Yours looks so much better. <laughs> They're the same. No, the egg. That egg though. I think your egg's gonna taste better. Mine didn't. <laughs> Mine were terrible. Uh, again. Love you, buddy. Thank Thanks, you. man. Oh! Do I get to keep the apron? No. Oh. Sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, what's better than breakfast for dinner, girls? Nothing. Come on, nothing, right? Except for ice cream. And so we put a little, so when Pete and I tried them, oh, Pete and I made these. Oh, cool. And when we tried them, uh, we did not put butter in syrup, but we gave you a little bit of that. So let me know what you think. <laughs> I think silence is good. Um, but you guys want to yeah. try the eggs? <laughs> it's really, really good. Okay. I like it. I but feel like, I mean, I feel like it tastes better without syrup, but that's like not anyone's fault. But oh, okay, good. That's, uh, that's, what I was gonna that's say. my fault because I, I thought you'd want syrup. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, try the eggs. This too. out of 10 will probably be 9.5. 9.5. We love that. Yes. And then the eggs. That's this would right, this. There should be. You should go for it, right or the, whatever, yeah. The pancake would be probably a. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'll take it. That's great. And the eggs look terrible. 9.5. 9.5. But they it's really good. good. Yes. It's really actually really good. Get it's so good. All right. Jeez. All right. Wow. I'll give it up. 9.5. Okay. Thumbs up, everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would it still be a nine if I wasn't here? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thumbs up. See you next time for our next guest, Chris. Stapleton, baby, my favorite. Love you, Chris. See you soon. Daddy.